Well, guys, it looks like I've been tagged in one of these uh, What's Your Favorite Tool videos by Mr. Shevaholic. Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, making videos for me has been kind of hard lately. Uh, haven't been getting a lot done on the truck. It's been too cold to do any body work out here. By the time you get the garage hot enough, you're kind of tired. And I like to nap in the middle of the afternoon, so uh, kind of get my senior moment in there. Uh, I was thinking about it. Uh, I started watching, I think it was Impala, uh, Ken's uh, 63 Impala there. I think he might have started it, I'm not sure, but uh, I've been watching the videos now for a little while about favorite tools, and everybody's got their favorite tool, to be it something that handed down to them or just something they use a lot. Uh, probably start off by explaining what I do for a living. I, uh, heavy equipment and aerial, electrical, scissor lifts and stuff like that in the rental field. A uh, service mechanic on call. When guys break stuff, cut hydraulic hoses, or there's an electrical issue, i got to figure it out. So I thought about it real hard. I mean, I have no actual favorite tool. I mean, if ever somebody threw my tools in the garbage and I had to go buy new ones, it wouldn't make much difference to me. Uh, I think, and I know it's kind of getting physiological, psychological on you, I guess you'd call it, uh, my favorite tool is this right here, my noggin. I have only been doing this type of work now for about uh, 13 years. Uh, prior to that, I didn't think I could even do it. I uh, didn't know the difference between a scissor lift and a bobcat. When I started this job, I used to do janitorial and uh, landscaping, I cut grass and drywall and construction, that kind of stuff. And when this job came up, it was just washing equipment in the wash paper, you know, 10 bucks an hour or something like that. And I saw this stuff and I was always, you know, working on cars and stuff like that, but uh, it was challenging is what I, I found is, uh, you know, somebody would say, this isn't doing this. And without somebody explaining to me how it worked, be the hydraulics or the electrical, I had to troubleshoot it. I had to figure out what it was or how it worked basically to figure out what wasn't working or why wasn't this working because this is how it's supposed to work and that in my mind I thought that was just an amazing thing I don't know if I got it from my parents or if I just picked it up from people I worked with but I felt felt like uh, that's why I enjoy my job it's a challenge every day every day I find that uh, something new to keep this going and uh, as long as that's there I, I'm happy I, I could have a, a hammer and a piece of wood for all I care uh, like they say a duct tape and bailing wire is my favorite tool uh, but besides that uh, getting off topic there is an actual tool that I, I find myself using every day and it was a guy I work with uh, Bill that gave me this tool uh, I watched him using this all the time, and I was always ratchets, wrenches. They used to tease me. It's like, don't you have an air tool? Yeah, but I didn't feel like getting it out, so I'm using a wrench. You know, you know, you start off with wrenches, then you get into ratchets, and you get into air ratchets and impact guns. Well, I gotta tell you, in the business that I'm doing, where I'm going from site to site to site, you don't always have electricity. You don't always have air. Cordless tools are the way of the future now. He got a new one, and he gave me this. It's a uh, Dewalt impact driver half inch drive 18 volt this thing cuts a job down in half it'll drive self tapping screws it'll break tires off of carbs as long as you keep that battery charged this thing is a lifesaver when you've been doing this for a while and I'm in my 40s now your wrists start to get sore you're laying in the cold your back is sore. The last thing you want to do when you get to a job site is figure out you've got to take off 50 half inch bolts just to take the cover off of something to get into something then start working on it. The time that that gun saves you is just insane. And the fact that he gave that to me is even more special. Uh, this guy has taught me so much over the years as well as every other uh, mechanic in that shop that works there. I didn't know any of this stuff. They never, I never went to school for it or anything. This is the type of industry that there is no schooling for electrical scissor lifts. You have to know the basics first, obviously, but troubleshooting this stuff is hands-on. You learn it from the guys that have been doing it for 20 years, like these guys that I work with. 
And the sad part is there are no guys 25, 30 years old coming into this field. I know there's lost arts and body work and metal working and stuff that's been going on for 30 or 40 years, but this industry isn't going to stop, uh, be it heavy equipment or uh, electrical or hydraulics. And you can learn some of that in school, but uh, the knowledge that these guys have given me on tricks and how to do stuff better and quicker and just to get somebody back working is priceless. And you can't learn that in a book. Uh, so once again, my favorite tool. Uh, second to, to that uh, drill driver that Bill gave me. So there you go, Shevaholic. Um, I was trying to think of who else I could tag if they haven't been tagged already. I'd like to see Scott from Stovebolt 50. I'm sure he's got something priceless that uh, is his favorite tool. As well as the Rick Fix up north there in uh, Nova Scotia, my buddy Rick. Uh, I know he watches Shevaholic. Uh, I'd like to see what he's got. He's got some pretty unique stuff up there, handmade stuff, uh, tricks of the trade for that he's learned doing this Nova of his. But those are the two guys I'm tagging. It would be Scott from uh, Stove Bolt 50 and uh, the Rick Fix. Hope this wasn't too long of a video, guys. Let's get back and do some work now.